what an exciting day today is. It's finally come, and it's here. More personalization is being built into Microsoft 365 Copilot, with new functionality available to all of you today. Specifically, today we will talk to Copilot Memory, the new experience where Copilot will remember specific things that you require it to, so that way it can provide you more informed output aligned to your particular preferences and needs. This could relate to particular topics. It could relate to specific data formats. So in today's video, we will navigate you through all of the details for Copilot memory, how you craft memories and leverage them within your prompting experience, and some of the variety of limitations that exist with memory today. My name is Nick Harris. I'm a senior Copilot Cloud Solution Architect with Microsoft. Welcome to the Microsoft 365 Copilot Connection, where we provide you the latest updates available for your Microsoft 365 Copilot experiences. Now to start off, I have the business chat experience open, and general note that my account does have a Microsoft 365 Copilot license assigned. If you want to see any particular memory that Copilot has saved for you, you can access all of your memory and customization capabilities directly via the settings menu in business chat. If I navigate to the top right hand corner here, you can see I have my settings menu. And when I open my settings menu, there's now a new personalization screen. And within this personalization screen, I have two new areas, custom instructions and copilot memory. We'll talk about a distinction between the two a little bit later on in the video. For now, we're going to purely focus on Copilot memory, what it is, and how to use it. So if I navigate into Copilot memory, this is the core area where all of my memories are saved. The personalization around my experience, such as the topics that I focus on, the projects that I work with, the ways that I prefer my data be formatted. You will be able to review all of your memories here. So we'll do a little bit of prompting as we navigate through this video and we'll see these memories being built live. I also do have the ability to control memory in my individual user experience. If I do not want Copilot to save any memories, I can toggle this experience off. However, I'm not really sure why you would wanna do that. I think all of us want to ensure that we don't have to always detail our prompt so much. I do also have access to work profile data now. So Copilot more inherently understands properties about me, my role, my location, my department, my management. So let's go ahead and invoke this particular experience and let's build a memory. Now, the way that you would start off, I would recommend that you use I statements. And what that means is I prefer bullet list format or I focus on this particular topic and that will invoke the memory-based capability. So as an example, my prompt will be, I prefer all of my data outputs to be formatted into bulleted lists. Now we've sent this prompt off and we see the response. You see underneath my prompt, memory updated. Copilot directly tells me what that particular memory is. And I have the ability to click into the manage memory section to navigate directly into that settings menu and manage any current memories. You also see in Copilot's response how it's indicating that it saved those preferences. Navigating into the memory section, you see now we have that memory loaded into Copilot memory. And I can see the date that it's been loaded, I can control that particular memory as well, and I can remove it if I require. You'll notice that there wasn't really the ability to edit memories. So we can, via natural language prompts, modify an existing memory as well. And now you see in my next prompt, I prefer my data outputs to be in a table format. My memory has been updated again. And if I navigate directly into the Copilot memory section, that same exact entry has now been modified, indicating that I prefer table formats. So you don't have to go directly into this settings menu all the time to review all of your content, you can just indicate to Copilot what you prefer and Copilot will make the updates for you. Now, something else to consider finally is you can purge all of your Copilot memories. So I do have the ability to delete all memories here at the very bottom. I'll just click on this particular option, delete all memories, 
and now I've wiped the slate clean. So let's load a ton of different preferences into Copilot memory. I'll have this prompt available to all of you via a link in my description of this video below so you can directly copy and paste it easily. In this case, what I'm doing is I'm leveraging Copilot to interview me, to ask questions that I can leverage to then generate more personalization. And so you see here, I want to fully personalize my Copilot experience using the new memory feature. Help me by generating a set of structured questions that will allow me to define my preferred communication and collaboration style, the types of recurring tasks or workflows I handle in my role, my preferred formatting styles for outputs, key collaborators that I work with, topics, projects, initiatives, how I like to prepare for my meetings, the type of content that I create or consume, tools I use, templates I use, formats I prefer, and then finally load all of this into memory. What Copilot then does is it generates a list of questions that I can directly answer. And those questions are aligned within those particular topic areas that I've required. Now you can pick and choose these questions, answer the ones that you prefer. You don't have to answer all of them. And so let's go ahead and prompt with our preferred personalization, recommendations, projects, styling, formats within our next prompt. Now here's my overall answers to those questions. You can pause the video and take a look at these if you want. Again, these are personal to me, so answer in your own individual way. Include your own materials and what you work through so you can personalize the experience to you. This is not a prompt that you would directly use verbatim. Copilot then updates its memory. It does provide us some output on those preferred personalization mechanisms that we've indicated. And if I navigate into memory, I'll have a ton of entries here. So you can see here, we have all kinds of entries based on those particular uh, requirements that we have. And so Copilot now has all of this directly built in and can leverage this information to provide us more informed output. So let's do a little bit of an experiment. Let's go ahead and use the same prompt, one with all of these memories built in and one without the memories built in to show you the differences within your experience. So in this case, without Copilot memories being built into my experience, my prompt will be provide me the latest updates for Microsoft 365 Copilot. And here's our output response. We see we have some headers and emojis, we have a, a bullet list format with particular sources cited as well. We can see some of the key topic points. It does look like it pulled in some material for uh, Project Eagle that we reviewed yesterday that could include content on Microsoft 365 Copilot, some web updates too, and all the citations below. Let's now see what this experience looks like with Copilot memory directly added via our personalization. And look at this initial part of our output. We now have a table of data with columns like update, application experience, release date, description. There's also one if I scroll to the right for value to the user. If I scroll down, I do ha still have some of the same outputs as well, maybe slightly different, but the main update experience here that has been completely modified formatting wise is this table of updates. So why was this? Well, navigating into Copilot memory, you can see that we have an entry here that we had indicated for Copilot updates, we prefer a table format with the following headers. And that's exactly what Copilot aligned to. This brings up a key point that I think is very valid in terms of the long-term strategy for using AI. My gut instinct tells me that prompting isn't going to be as difficult as you continue forward, because a lot of the personalization and ways that you want to leverage Copilot will be more built in as it learns who you are and how you work with it. So you don't always have to be so detailed and complex as you use your AI assistants. They'll just inherently understand. So that way I can say, provide me the latest updates, and it knows exactly where to pull that data from, exactly how to format it, all the material I require so I can just move forward faster. Now, I do want to inform you of some limitations that exist within the system. Initially, before Copilot memory was introduced, I thought that it would provide us what we would consider long-term memory, meaning that Copilot could remember 
all the material about the previous chat conversations that we've had with it. And that's not quite the case that you see here. You see that Copilot saves individual entries around those things that we prefer. So it's not really remembering all the detailed material from previous chats that we've had. I would assume that'll be something that Copilot will understand later on down the road, but for right now, this is unique individual personalization entries that Copilot will update automatically based on your indicated preferences. Another limitation is you don't really know when memories are being invoked, and this can be a cause for concern. What I mean by that is you might prompt Copilot and wonder why it outputs data in a particular way for you. Copilot in its output doesn't really tell you that it's leveraging its memories in order to refine the output in the way that you may have indicated in the past. So it could be I have something personalized via Copilot memory from a memory that was built a month or two ago, and I just don't remember that myself as the human. So something to consider as we look into the system moving forward. My hope is that Microsoft does build in more transparency around when memories are being invoked in Copilot output. And finally, another new limitation that I just learned is with how long memories are retained. Based on your organization retention policies, if you have retention policies applied to Copilot chat experiences, those will also apply to Copilot memories. So if you have any of those previous conversations that have had a memory saved, and they are automatically purged by your system, your memories will be purged as well, meaning that you may have to repersonalize your experience over the long term. Now, this is where something like Copilot Instructions comes into play, where you can explicitly indicate instructions. If I navigate back into my Settings menu, you see the Custom Instructions category, and this is a particular category where I can indicate explicit instructions for Copilot to follow at all times. This should not be under those same retention policies. So I would recommend if there are particular data formats or tone of voice or language that you require, indicate those in your custom instructions so they are always saved and provided back to you when you require. So that's it for me for today, everyone. I hope that this information has been valuable to each and every one of you to personalize your Copilot experience to meet your particular needs. If you like this video, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. Your support is always appreciated. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Share this video with your colleagues as well so they can make use of this content and material as Copilot memory should be available to all of you in your Copilot experience today. If you're not subscribed, feel free to subscribe and join in on the community as we continue to release new updates to keep all of you well informed. Thank you all so much for your time, everyone. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one, everybody.